Hello. This is my second time recording. My computer crashed. So, just gonna catch you up. Today we are going to, uh, we're gonna be doing Minecraft Paradoxes. We are outside of the lab, um, and we're basically just gonna be doing potions contradicting each other and a surprise at the very end. So, I have fished for, with luck for five minutes, and I got this. And I just fished for another five minutes with unluck, and I got five raw fish, a piece of string, a puffer fish, and three salmon. Whereas I got 11 fish and one salmon with luck. Now I'm going to drink some milk to get rid of the potions and go fishing with both applied for five minutes. So, I'll see you then. So, I just got back from fishing for five minutes. I discovered that it is very boring fishing in Minecraft. And I got one puffer fish, four raw salmon, and eight raw fish. With unluck, I got five fish, one string, one puffer fish, and three salmon. With luck, I got 11 fish and one salmon. So it seems unluck doesn't change how often some th how often you get a bite. It just changes what's on it. And luck just makes it a uh, fish more often. Now, next I am going to be uh, I'm going to be doing something. I didn't have this set up. I just came up with it while I was during, while I was fishing. I'm going to be doing something that has something to do with sight. As most of you know, whoops. Speed will. Uh, speed will change how close you are. How close... it's... it changes your perspective, kind of. It's hard to explain, and very hard to control. And slowness... hold on. zooms it in. And at 225, it doesn't allow you to move. Okay, that's interesting. And does jump? I don't remember. Let's see. It does not, but it does when it's too high keep you from jumping. Okay. So don't give you jump 225. Don't give yourself jump 225. It won't work. So, another thing that affects your sight Another potion that affects your sight is blindness, which is a very frustrating potion, but I'm going to use it anyway. Okay, you know what, I'm just going to fly. 
up here I can see pretty far. So that makes my so it seems it's whichever is given to you last. So since we're not using that anymore, we're going to change it to speed and Um, slowness. I'm not sure I spelled that right. Okay, yeah, I did. So now if we press that button. Huh. So, maybe it's whichever was put into the command block last. I'm not sure. But now we're going to... Whoa, that was... Okay, milk. Don't mix too many potions. It's bad for your health. Okay. Next, for the last surprise. For the thing at the end. We are doing teleporting to two places at once. That button teleports you up here to the beacon. I'm not sure why I have this beacon. It looks sciency. It looks sciency. I have red stained glass pane there. I'm not sure why I showed you that. Okay. And this one teleports you over to here. I hope I can remember my way back. I think it's that way. Yeah, it's that way. So then if we do both at once, this one, the one that teleports you past the beacon, was put in last. And it teleported me here. So let's try this. If we hit backspace 9, done. It still teleports me here. Hold on. So it can't be which side the the command block is on because this one teleports you past the beacon, which is where I was teleported. And this one is, this one gives you slowness, which is the effect that actually affected me. I'm not sure what's happening here. I mean... I have been a coder in my past, but it can be very confusing at times. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm going to test do. I'm going to get out. Whoops. So, next time, I will either uh, start a, I'm either going to start a, uh, I forgot what it's called. Oh wait, I just remembered something. A friend of mine told me what I did wrong with that timer last time. So, come into redstone. Grab a dispenser, a wooden 
pressure plate, and I'm going to grab a stone pressure plate too, just to see something. Then glass and whoops and a spawn egg. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to go with cow. Just because I can. And I needed to pick one. So, last time... Whoops. You know what? Over here. Last time, I had redstone on a stone pressure plate. I'm also going to grab a redstone lamp. But that, whoops, didn't work. Or maybe it, oh wait, duh. That's what I did. Okay. Put that there. It's on there, but it is not powering it. Now we try it with a wooden pressure plate. And it does work. So, now if we take a stone pressure plate, he said this should work, and put a spawn egg in it. Oh, I completely forgot about that. So, it spawns the animal, and why didn't I remember that? Okay, I was expecting it to drop the spawn egg. But, I think the dropper should do that. Let's see. No. This way. Sometimes I just... stupid. So, if you use a wooden pressure plate, I'm going to put both in. Wait, not one. If you use a wooden pressure plate, wait, hold on. I'm going to show you how to build a timer, at least how I like to build them. Then we're going to need some iron. We put that there. Whoops. Bah. Put that there. Redstone comparator. Not there. There. There we go. That's another redstone clock. Then you take a note block. This is going to be very annoying. That didn't work. Hold on. Oh, that's not what I meant. Uh, music and sounds. All the way up. Master volumes down. You know what? I'm going to turn it all the way up just in case. 